Poultry customers worldwide use TJP wall inlets to ventilate poultry houses with minimal expense. TJP wall inlets are gravity, counterweighted inlets that will open automatically with static pressure caused by ventilation fans. Some of our customers ask us about the number of fans and inlets they will need to properly ventilate their poultry houses. This short video will cover the basic information you will need to know. This video will help you to calculate overall house size as well as how to determine how many fans and inlets you will need for minimum and transition ventilation. To get things started, let's calculate the size of your poultry house. We need to calculate the average ceiling height. To do this, we will take the wall height 8 feet tall and add it to the height of the ceiling at its peak, 11 feet tall. Then we will divide by 2. That gives us 9.5 feet as our average ceiling height. To get the cubic volume of the house, we multiply the house length, 500 feet, by the house width, 43 feet, by the house average ceiling height, 9.5 feet. The cubic volume of the house in this example is 204,250 cubic feet. Now that we have the cubic volume of the house, let's discuss how to calculate the number of fans and TJP inlets needed during minimum ventilation. First, we need to determine the number of fans needed at actual working pressure. First stage, fan volume that equals one air exchange every eight minutes during the first stage of minimum ventilation to run on a cycle timer and temperature override. To determine number of fans needed, take the cubic volume of the house and divide by eight, air exchange rate every eight minutes. Divide by the volume of air one summer fan can displace. In this example, one summer fan can displace 21,500 cubic feet per minute. Always round up or down to the nearest whole number. In this example, you need to use one summer fan to run on a cycle timer and temperature override. The fan only has to run 20% of the time as long as the air quality is acceptable. For the maximum of minimum ventilation, you will need fan volume that equals one air exchange every five minutes. To determine the number of fans needed, take the cubic volume of the house and divide by five. Divide 40,850 cubic volume of house divided by five by the amount of air one summer fan can displace in cubic feet per minute. Always round up or down to the nearest whole number. To determine number of inlets needed, take number of fans, two, and multiply by the amount of air one summer fan can displace in CFM, 21,500. Then divide 43,000 CFM by inlet volume, 900 CFM, equals 48 inlets. You need to spec inlets 25% higher this is to prevent inlets from ever reaching 100% of capacity. 48 inlets times 125% equals 60 total wider weighted inlets needed for minimum ventilation. In this example, you need two summer fans and 60 inlets for this house for maximum of minimum ventilation. Let's talk about using TJP inlets with transition ventilation. During transition ventilation, fan volume that equals one air exchange every three minutes. To determine number of fans needed, take the cubic volume of the house and divide by three. Then divide by how much air one summer fan can displace in cubic feet per minute. Always round up or down to the nearest whole number. Summer fan equals 21,500 CFM. To determine number of inlets needed, Take number of fans and multiply by the amount of air displaced by one summer fan in CFM. Then divide by inlet CFM. Allow 900 CFM per inlet. You need to spec inlets 25% higher. This is to prevent inlets from ever reaching 100% of capacity. 72 inlets times 125% equals 90 inlets. To determine number of heavier inlets needed, take total number of inlets needed minus minimum ventilation inlets, lighter weighted. 90 total inlets minus 60 minimum inlets equals 30 added inlets. 
This means you will need 60 of the lighter inlets and 30 of the heavier inlets for a total of 90 inlets, evenly spaced on both sides of the house and evenly mixed from side to side. These inlets can be installed in 45 locations if desired. You have three choices of TJP inlets, the TJP1255, lighter weighted, the TJP1265, heavier weighted, and the TJP1275, heaviest weighted. The heavier the rod, the greater the static pressure, SP, needed to pull TJP inlets open. In houses up to 43 feet, or 13 meters wide, use a combination of TJP1255, lighter weighted, and TJP1265 heavier weighted. In houses wider than 43 feet or 13 meters, use a combination of TJP1265 heavier weighted and TJP1275 heaviest weighted. Placement. When possible, always install inlets down 18 inches or 46 centimeters from the top of the sidewall. With fans on end wall of the house, both lighter and heavier inlets will be evenly spaced on both sides of the house. Options in installing TJP inlets. TJP inlets are designed to give you the option of snapping two inlets together and installing a double inlet into one location. If you install double inlets, you only need to install half the number of openings. For example, if you calculate that you need to install 34 inlets into a poultry house, you only need 17 openings. Keep in mind that double inlets will need a larger opening during installation. Features of the TJP inlets. When minimum fans are on, the lighter weighted inlets open to allow fresh air into the poultry house. When transition fans turn on, the lighter and heavier weighted inlets open to allow fresh air into the poultry house. When the house goes into tunnel ventilation, the static pressure will drop and the TJP wall inlets will close. Light trap inlet options. Double L Group offers light trap inlet options that will fit your needs. Let us help you find what you need for your poultry houses. We hope this video has given you some insight on the installation and use of TJP inlets from the Double L Group. We want to help you find what will work best for your needs. Give us a call or email us with your questions and we will be glad to help.